Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Michael Barnett. I'm Chief Executive of the Auckland Chamber of Commerce. So it's my pleasure to welcome you to this new members evening tonight. One of the things that you've done with the joining to the, with the Chamber of Commerce is you've joined a business organisation here in New Zealand, but you're also part of a network of chambers that operate throughout New Zealand and a network of chambers that operates throughout the world. In New Zealand, we represent about 20,000 members. And if I go outside of New Zealand, there's over 20,000 chambers of commerce. And by joining Auckland, you're a part of that. So thanks for being here tonight. I only wanted to say a few words and, and introduce myself, because again, and as a part of your membership to the Chamber of Commerce, there's a team in there of about 50 people. They're there to help you, they're there to support you, but that's my job. I'm there to help, I'm there to support you as well. One of the things that we do have, and I'm not going to touch on all of the reasons that you've joined the Chamber, you know what they are. You've spoken to somebody recently. But I do know that we've got a couple of our benefit providers here tonight. Um, the people from Vodafone are here, so if you want a really good deal on your mobile, because you just turned yours off. Oh, you're with Vodafone, great. See, it's working already. She's only been a member a short time. But anyway, um, so we've got the people here from Vodafone. Uh, look them out. And I think we also have the people here from Office Max. Yep. So the people are here from Office Max and they provide a really, really special service uh, to members of the Chamber of Commerce. When people join business organisations, one of the things that they say is that the reasons for joining is about networking, all right? And if you stop and think about it, many of the small, medium businesses that join, they don't have huge marketing funds. They don't have a whole lot of money that they can throw at a program. But by meeting in environments like this, they have an opportunity to meet somebody who could be a client tomorrow. So, turn to somebody you haven't met tonight, give them your, your card, quickly tell them what you do, and then come back and listen to me again. All right? Okay. So did you see how easy that was? All right? And the reality is that if you participate in some of the things that we do, there's always going to be people there. There are people that you can walk up to. You can exchange a card and you could be doing business with them tomorrow. So I took the opportunity and I stepped down from here and I went across and I said hello to somebody. I met a lady from Matchpoint. They're a dating agency. <laughs> she looked at me and she said, it's all right, I know you're married. <laughs> Anyway, one of the things that I'm often reminded of the large number of people, and I know that we're coming up to Christmas right now, and this sort of goes through people's minds, and you sort of stand there and you look in the mirror and you think, between now and Christmas, I'm going to drop two or three kilos, or five, or whatever it is that we're going to do. And there's a whole lot of people that'll go out there and they'll join the gym and they'll buy the gear and they'll look really, really cool, all ready to go and do this big thing with the gym. And then they never go. All right? And joining the Chamber of Commerce is the same thing. You've joined, unless you participate, unless you do stuff with us, you won't get the benefit. All right? So the big thing I'm saying to you is participate with us. Have a look at the stuff that we do around employment. Have a look at the stuff that we do about around training and business advice and the benefits. But get an advantage from your membership to the Chamber of Commerce. I want to give you one quick story with a group of guys that I met at the start of this year. And they were a group of small businesses. I don't think any of them really employed too many people, but they were all exporting one item and they were exporting into the China market. And as a result of what happened to Fonterra, these guys became collateral damage. Their product was getting stopped at the border. 
Everybody was listening to the Fonterra story, but nobody was taking any notice of them. And they said to me, we need some help. And so I began a campaign for them. We went through, first of all, we went out, we let the media know, and the media told our story. We let government know so that government knew our story. And last week we went up to China and we met with the testing agencies and the border agencies, the importers, the regulators, the distributors, the retailers, the consumers. But what we did for them, they could never have done themselves. We created something for them. But they can come back to New Zealand now and we know that their voice is being heard. It's being heard in Wellington, it's being heard in Beijing, it's being heard in Shanghai. And that's what we're here for. You don't have to be a whole sector, you can be a single business person, you can be a large business sector. But the Chamber is here to help. And because you've joined, I'm reminding you that there are benefits and I'm asking you to take advantage of those. So for the balance of the evening, if you've come with somebody, don't stick with them. Use my dating agency and find somebody better. No, no. <laughs> All right. See, it's working already. <laughs> You've got business coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for being here. Make sure you do swap a card with somebody. Make sure you do meet somebody that you haven't met before. And try and get a business advantage yourselves out of being here tonight. Thanks very much for listening to me.